hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss the example about engine cooling system with an oil cooling circuit using this matlab simscape fluids um, by using thermal liquid blocks this system includes a coolant coolant circuit and an oil cooling circuit a fixed displacement pump drives coolant through the cooling circuit the main portion of heat from the engine is absorbed by the coolant and dissipated through the radiator the system temperature is regulated by the thermostat uh, which diverts flow, flow to the radiator only when the temperature is above, above the threshold here the the oil control heat exchanger is uh, involved the oil, oil cooling circuit also observes some of the heat from the engine the heat added to the oil is transferred to the coolant by the oil coolant exchanger here this radiator uh, is the ENN tube, a heat exchanger. It is a it is a block with the air side flow controlled by the physical uh, signal inputs. Here the oil coolant heat exchanger is the uh, EN tube exchanger. That is a TL TL block. And this both coolant pump and the oil pump are uh, driven by the engine speed. Here also contains the uh, this model contains the subsystems engine subsystem heat flow rate uh, engine subsystem and fan subsystem and uh, air subsystem and also uh, driving cycle subsystems here in uh, the drive cycles are set by vehicle speed this is the input of uh, this uh, engine cooling system model uh, vehicle speed anti ambient and uh, torque and uh, engine speed here this is a uh, fan block fan unit and the heat flow rate heat flow rate block the thermostat here is the oil pump and coolant pump. Here, uh, the uh, two more fluids are used to, to cooling cooling this uh, cooling this system. The first one is the ethylene glycol and the oil loop. The ethylene glycol and the uh, yeah, SAE hydraulic oil also uh, used as the cooling system as a function of uh, pressure uh, pressure and temperature. Here, uh, these are the properties we, can, we have to set the uh, ethylene glycol water properties. Here we have to say, set the temperature and pressure value and density base value and inter internal uh, energy and viscosity. These are all the inputs we have to give, give here by using this thermal liquid setting box that is a TL blocks. This blocks provides a liquid properties to attach the thermal liquid network. Uh, this block can be parameterized either by two dimensional or uh, um, one, dimension, one dimensional vectors uh, to the uh, properties with uh, temperature and pressure or with the temperature only in single dimension tables it, it needs uh, based on uh, temperature t only it's a density density parameters density table the isothermal bulk modulus table beta value isobar isobaric thermal expansion coefficient here also you have to give the values then after one by using this source code here here itself we can change the values here itself we can change the values instead of we are giving in this in this block here in this in this form of script function uh, you, you can you can vary the temperature vector you can vary the pressure vector you can set the minimum varied temperature and the maximum varied pressure um, also it is possible by using this script file because of this script file you can be used, used uh, easy to automate your uh, work again and again in the form in the way of iteration work now uh, in this engine speed safety speed block and engine block is the bypass force is a cooling system block is the radio oil, oil coolant heat exchanger the oil properties we can uh, set here so uh, by using this scope you can measure the cylinder wall temperature and after runs you, uh, you can say, uh, see the uh, temperature mass flow rate you can also see the uh, density of coolant you can also see the vehicle dry, uh, driving source uh, also uh, see the plot of fluid properties and finally uh, you, you can see uh, with the simulation result using uh, simscape result explorer is a interactive tool already mentioned in this uh, video here uh, the plot shows the effect of uh, op opening the thermostat in the engine cooling system can see and after it takes some more time to complete the simulation <coughs> the 15,000 seconds it sets by simulation time most 3,000 seconds is over and 
what is the special area of facility of this engine cooling system means uh, with oil cooling circuit and also uh, the coolant circuit by it is obtained from uh, fluid thermal uh, thermal liquid blocks uh, this block shows how to model an uh, engine uh, cooling system with an oil cooling circuit using uh, simscape fluid thermal liquid toolbox toolbox block here uh, this engine subsystem and uh, this is a heat flow rate heat flow rate uh, subsystem and the fan subsystem air subsystem driving cycle subsystem then the simulation is completed now we can see the result mass flow engine cooling system cylinder wall temperature with, with uh, coolant mass flow rate this is a radiator inlet and bypass hose the oil coolant and each heat exchange inlet also you can see the density of coolant coolant density uh, can get by, by using this three three areas this hose area bypass hose and radiator you can see the coolant density versus time and also the driving cycle these are the input driving cycle also you can see engine vehicles engine and vehicle speed and the engine torque versus time and the engine speed as a time also we can uh, see we can analyze also fluid properties here the uh, two type of fluids uh, involved in this uh, coolant system the ethylene gly glycol water and sae 15 uh, 1540 oil as a function of uh, pressure and temperature pressure and temperature and density you can see the uh, fluid properties here also uh, some uh, some more options are available here to measure the density of specific internal energy and the next one uh, uh, animatic viscosity and specific heat at constant pressure and thermal conductivity isothermal bulk models modulus and isobaric thermal expansion coefficient in this manner we can uh, See also you can edit plot by using and this one you can change, change the x-axis and y-axis values x-axis title also by you can generate code MATLAB code from your uh, uh, simulating design the engine cooling design also you can generate the function MATLAB script file here here also you can run this model to automate your model you can see uh, these are the name and play with properties you can see you can change you can see the access properties in this manner you can generate MATLAB code from this simulate block also you can see the simula simulation result by using on this explorer simulating result explorer block now we got the simscape result explorer for this uh, simulic block time, simulic design here itself each and every block you can see the uh, simulation statistics at zero crossings for example uh, temperature at sensor and um, uh, this is a uh, a and b point at the rear start, rear start block and the value area in this in, in this manner you can see the output for example oil pump oil pump temperature and pressure you can see you click oil pump here means there here both temperature and pressure will be available in the same figure this man this in this manner by using this uh, interactive simscape result explorer block you can analyze your uh, <coughs> design in this way uh, by using this uh, uh, simscape uh, fluid thermal liquid toolbox you can able to design engine cooling system with an oil cooling circuit with the simscape result explorer block this example is more useful for uh, de uh, designing uh, oil cooling oil cooling engine systems thank you